Caritas in Jerusalem. Offices and people at computers working around the clock to help the victims of an unending conflict. The director, Claudette Habesh, has in her eyes all the enthusiasm of a young girl and tells us about the activities of this organization that has been going for more than 40 years. Actually, Caritas has many activities in Jerusalem, in the West Bank and in Gaza, and little in Israel proper but it's mostly uh, on the Palestinian side. Caritas Jerusalem was founded in 1967, on June 12th of 1967, to respond immediately to the arising needs of the population who found it, uh, itself in a situation of war and under Israeli occupation. The local church uh, decided to have a Caritas to accompany the people. So it was an emergency response. Unfortunately, today, 43 years ago, I must admit that a component of the program of Caritas is emergency response. Like in the year 2009, we had to respond to Gaza, to the emergency situation, to the war situation, to the suffering. 35,000 families of different religions are helped at three managed health centers, one in Gaza. There are 450 scholarships for poor students 85 jobs created and more than 100 health insurance policies for disadvantaged households. There's also an old people's home in Ramallah and a drug rehabilitation center in Old Jerusalem, along with microcredit activities. These are just some of the figures contained in a review of the work of Caritas Jerusalem. Founded in 1967 after the Six-Day War, Caritas is chaired by the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Fuad Twal. This indicates the strong link it has with the Catholic Church universal and open to all. Definitely, we are members of the uh, international movement, the Caritas Internationalis. And uh, we, basically, we help. We are a humanitarian organization. We help the children of God without any discrimination. And to us, it is need, not creed. But it so happens that today, the Christians are in need. So. Uh, they are part of our work also, and we make sure that we don't forget them. But when I tell you that we go to Gaza, we work in Gaza, we're not working for the Christians. There's barely 2,000 to 2,500 Christians in Gaza today, out of 1.5 million. We do not discriminate. After the interview, she looks fondly at photos of John Paul II. She smiles and tells us that the pontiff, who will soon be made blessed, had this project in his heart, but it's a story that continues even today. Love will have no end. A silence.